So today in the undercarder co-main event of Triple G versus William Monroe Jr., we had uh, Roman Gonzalez, his um, his introduction to, you know, the, the American audience on HBO, first time, you know, his inaugural fight. It was it was super entertaining. What can I say? Roman Gonzalez took on the uh, the veteran Sosa, and you know he beat him, took him out in the second round. Um, what can I say? This guy's explosive. He's been on the top pound for pound list for I want to say uh, maybe six months or like a year, like some somewhat kind of recently he's been you know put on the list or been acknowledged. He's a three time division world champion, and he, but by the performance today he's he's here to stay. Um, what can I say? He's a very talented big puncher. I'm really happy. This was my first time I actually got to see him. And uh, they were saying, you know, what's who's he gonna fight next? His division, he has some fighters who he can fight next. He, um, before he had beaten Juan Francisco Estrada, who's also a champion in that weight class, or 112. And Roman, they fought before Roman Gonzalez beat him. And it'd be interesting, you know, a rematch because that'd be a very interesting fight. Juan Francisco Estrada is an entertaining fighter. He just comes forward, throws a lot of punches. And Roman Gonzalez is a beast. If you saw him today, he's very powerful. It'd be an interesting to see how that match would play out, how that rematch would play out. And if not, they were saying that there's um there's another little monster in a weight class above him who is from Japan, 22 years old. Unaya Unuye, I, I don't know, probably butchering his name, but he's seven. He's eight and zero with seven KOs. Mm, what can I say? He's the top of his division, the super flyweight division, at only age twenty-two, and he took out the previous number one guy, who was Omar Navarez. You might know him because he fought Donaire and when he moved up in weight class. But um, they're saying you know that fight would be very explosive. Well, Hopefully it gets made down the road, but for right now it seems like Roman Gonzalez has a couple options in his weight class. But that would be the super fight everybody wants to see the the next one. I'm just really glad they put Roman Gonzalez, you know, on the card because this brings uh, you know exposure to that that flyweight class, and you know hopefully Roman Gonzalez will I'm sure he will be televised again because he's a very exciting fighter, and hopefully you know other you know fighters get you know get the recognition too in that weight class. So. It was good night of boxing. Uh, let me know what you guys think of it. Uh, where would you guys put Roman Gonzalez on your pound for pound list? Because he's right now on the, on a lot of people's you know top ten. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, this is Boxing Cube signing out.